Well, I'm back. <laughs> We're both back. We're both back. We're both back. <laughs> Welcome back to Upper Adventures, everyone. Um, yeah, since it's been a while, this is David. I'm, I'm Kate. This is David. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, we're here in Colorado right now. Uh, you might know something Kate showed you last time. There's no rooftop tent right there. Uh, we slept in this thing, our uh, new layout for the first time last night. Mm -hmm. uh, we're out here. Uh, Caitlin's doing her job. You want to go ahead and go over that, what you're doing? Yeah, so I have a travel CNA position at a long-term care facility um, just outside Denver. So it's nights, which makes it a little bit more difficult because I got to flip flop my schedule back and forth. Yeah, she was um, tired yesterday. I was tired yesterday. <laughs> we didn't that's, film at all that's yesterday. That's why we didn't film. I was a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so basically I'll work three days and then have four or five days off, um, which is what we wanted. So that that's why I took the night position was that so we could be able to go and explore Colorado, have a couple days off and then still have a nice uh, home base set up kind of. Yeah. Not quite a real home base because we're renting a room. Um, which is great actually. Rest and then basically every four or five days off we have this and we're gonna head out in Colorado and do some exploring. Right now our destination is Steamboat Springs so that's where we're taking you right now. Yes. We found a nice perfect little spot right next to a creek last night. Um, yeah and then we realized there was a bunch of widow makers right around us. But uh, we realized it at, at like night. nine o'clock yeah. at night. <laughs> it was yeah nine o'clock and I was like oh good thing our new rig. We'll have Caitlin show you real quick. Pop it up a little bit. Just give me I feel like feet. Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty simple, as you see, we have a drawer system now. We have a cooler and then our, a Yeti right here. I have this just kind of block it. We basically fold this mattress out and push it forward and this goes in the front seat and that's basically all it is. And this kind of tucks back in there and then uh, we got our dry goods and supplies that we need and then stuff is tucked under the front. So I'll do an actual uh, walkthrough on that layout, show you guys how everything works, how we keep our privacy, how we keep the bugs out, all the good stuff. So that's just our little quick uh, setup right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was just nine o'clock last night. I looked up and I was like, "Oh, that is a widowmaker." If I've ever seen it, it was literally leaning like towards the vehicle. And it was gonna, it was as dead as can be. And I was like, "If I wake, I'm not gonna be able to sleep at all tonight if that thing's right there." And the ground was just so soft. You could see some of the trees in the area were already leaning, and their roots were uprooting from the ground. So we just didn't want to chance it. No, it was just I was gonna be thinking about it all night long, and it was we were so tired. When we rolled in there, we were hungry. It was like seven o'clock, and but we just got in there. It was like, ah. Oh. Which just move. So we moved up here. We found this little nook up here. Basically, it's just a logging area. And I just kind of, well, we slept up there, but we got some privacy right here for the morning, getting ready. So nobody watches us and stuff like that. So, <laughs> all right, that's it. Let's get on the road. I, we got our fly, uh, we got fly fishing rods and we got our fishing permits out here. So we're gonna do some fishing too. So stay tuned for that. Yep. Well, we stopped along the 14 here, uh, Poldre River. I might be saying that wrong, I'm not sure. I think it's Poldre River. But uh, I had I caught one, but he flipped up and fell off, and then and that was it. So at least I actually kind of caught one. Yep. Usually, usually I just get skunked completely, so I was a little, I was excited. I think I got too excited and yanked too hard or something. It's been a while. I'm not used to these Colorado rivers. We actually could catch a fish, in like Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, we just stopped here real quick. Probably gonna have some lunch, and then we're on our way to Steamboat Springs, so. If you find anything interesting along the way, we'll show that to you. If not, we'll see you in Seaboat Springs.
So we came down a pretty unruly road, which is kind of fun. Came to this majestic little spot. Uh, nice little camp spot up there. Just no Widowmakers that'll kill us in the middle of the night like the first night we tried. Uh, but it said Harris Creek on the sign, but six miles back and it's kind of pretty bumpy. It might take a while to get back there all the way. So I think we're gonna go the next road back because it shows a creek going all the way down it. So we're gonna try that or there's a lake. But I like to camp by water. You know, you guys know me. Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But that's what we're gonna try. If not, we got this majestic spot picked out. There's a couple spots along this way. Uh, maybe tomorrow when there's more time we might try to go all the way back to that Harris Creek. Um, so we'll see. But for now, this is a, a possible campsite. Well, we landed on this spot. Camp set up. Two chairs. Basically water, hand washing, dish and area, and there's our kitchen. And then uh, our bed tonight. We'll move all this stuff up to the front, pull the bed out, and we'll have bed. And Pretty simple. Uh, you might be asking, why did we switch to this spot? Well, you may already know. Let me go show you. And this is why. A little creek right at the back of us. So there's a couple little pools and stuff right here. I've already seen a couple, I'm guessing little brown trout. I'll try to get them if I can with the fly. But they're pretty small, but something to catch and fun. And then the vehicle's right up there. Looks like it used to be an outhouse right over here. Let me show you that real quick. You see there's a toilet right here. It's already been uh, Caitlin certified. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, there used to be an outhouse right here. Looks like it blew down. And the creek's right over there. Pretty sweet little spot. See if we see any bears tonight. You gotta definitely put the trash back far away. But, finish getting set up everything and then uh, see if we can catch a little bit of fish before sundown. I have to go to a smaller fly because they were hitting, but he's just too small to suck it down. So, see if this guy works. I know. You hold yep. Down, easy with I am easy. I got him. Just enough so we can get that hook out of his mouth. Okay. That's him. Oh, oh. <laughs> get him back in there. So that was Caitlin's first fish. What do you think? Was it fun? It was fun. She never really, well, I think she got one when she was a kid, but that was like yeah. the first one she's ever gotten in a long time. I was like six when I last caught a fish, and I'm now 29, 20. Bugs trying to eat you. <laughs> yeah, you're 20. You're 28. I don't know how old I am. I don't know. We don't know how old she is. <laughs> I just picked her up one day and said, you, you're my wife. <laughs> but yeah, it was a little brown trout. Uh, sorry, I he was fine. He's down there floating right now. He's at the bottom just kind of doing his little... Not belly up floating. He's just not belly up floating. It was just, it was <laughs> caught in his lip right here. So it took a little bit to try to get it out of there, but... And I didn't know any better because I think the last fish I caught was like a bass or something like that. And uh, my dad had to, we had to hold it so he could get the pliers to get it out of its mouth. Yeah. As well. And bass, you just throw back in there and they'll come back at it. And these trout, they're like traumatized, like they got abducted that. by aliens or something. So they, <laughs> they get traumatized for a little bit, but he'll be fine. I said, it's a nice little stream out here. No one's going to bug him again for a while. But I put the fly right above him. He's just like, no, I don't know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll try to catch another one, see if I can get one. But that was her first little brown trout. A cool little. A little fish to catch. So. Brook trap. Brown. You told me brook. No, you keep saying brook, but it's I brown. don't know. <laughs> gonna... She's just gonna hide. All right, we're gonna keep fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! There, there we go. Look at that. Beauty. Oh, yeah. He's... That's a rainbow. That's gorgeous. Hello. Hello, buddy. Let me get my little tool out here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There he goes. Well, so, cooking up some brats and rice and bell peppers. Mm -hmm. Caught two fish for the day. Solid day, right? I think so. Yeah. Now we got a fire moving in, though. You see that orange sun? We got ash falling down here, so. No way to, no internet, so. No way to check. We have to move again tonight? <laughs> right? I just don't know because there is ash falling. Huh. That's happened when fires are pretty far away back at home, so yeah. who knows, but... I guess we'll find out, but yeah. 
I'm gonna grab some grub here and then uh, call it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Let we'll me know if we have to escape a fire or not. Also, I don't know if you noticed, Wendell got some new shoes, bright new shiny rims and tires. Figured, you know, no more rooftop tent. We gotta have it stand out somehow, right? So, a little dirty now. But some 285 70, uh, 17s, so almost 33 inch tires. So the same lift I had before, but I think it looks pretty sharp. Just thought I'd uh, show you guys. Well, good morning, everybody. It's the next day. Uh, yeah, we already had breakfast and did our things. And oh, dang, there's there's no <laughs> bugs out here whatsoever. Yeah, there's mosquitoes <laughs> everywhere. They freaking eat me alive. And Caitlin, basically here, she's super sweet. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna try to dip our line in and. Uh, See if we catch anything out this morning, then we're going to go do some more exploring. Um, Actually get to Steamboat Springs today. Yeah, we said we're going to be Steamboat Springs, <laughs> but we didn't quite make it. We are just like, yeah, we're a little tired, and we went to the whole thing as last time, our first night, because that was my bad, not checking if there was forest closures and stuff like that. <laughs> so, and especially a Saturday night on a Colorado in Colorado where everybody's out camping, don't don't try to go there late and try to find a spot. That was, that was horrible. Find, you, you won't find, find one. So, all right, let's go dip a line in and see if we catch anything. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> He's a good size one too. I know. Got my net? Yep. Bring my net. Back up, just back up. I'm burning. Back up. There you go. Nice. Woohoo! Look at that. Here, you hold him this time. <laughs> Get you Me catch! There we go. Back Fish hand. number two for Caitlin. Woohoo! Hi, little guy. Another is. little rainbow. Nice. All right, let's get this guy released. All right. There he goes. Nice. Goodbye, beautiful. Fish number two. Good job. <laughs> I handled him a lot better, guys, that time. She's learning. I know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Unhook them now. <laughs> I think that's a little brownie. Maybe rainbow. Kind of hard to tell. Mm, a little good know. though. I think it's a brownie. <laughs> okay. oh, he's on. He's bigger. Let's just let him go. There you go, buddy. There you go. He's off. All right. Bring him up. There we go. Another <laughs> one. Number two for Caden. I know. <laughs> It's back over there with the okay. water bottles. Alright. Here. There you go. You got them? Yep. Here's Caitlin and her fish. Release them back to the wild and try not to fall in the water at the same time. Okay. Let's see, little buddy. There he goes. Enough. Nice one. I know. Look at that pro already. <laughs> Awesome. Nice bring him in. Bring him in. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. That's the Ow. big one. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Come here, little buddy. That's a good size one from the creek. Look at that. I know. Look at that beauty. I think that's a rainbow. Oh, yeah. The that's a rainbow. Yeah. Let's get you a shot with that one, huh? Nice. All right, let's get him back in the water. Good one. Oh, you are so for Freggy. There he awesome. goes. There you go. He's out of here. Just needed help turning over. There's another big one in here too. Was there? Yeah. That's three for Kate this morning. Two for me. She's beating me. Three before. Before ten. In the last 45 minutes. <laughs> it's not bad. Well, we're finishing wrapping up. Kate, we're putting the hammock. The hammock. The hammock. <laughs> the hammock all up. Hammock prototype. Right. Yeah. That could be something, right? 
uh, putting that up and then uh, you know the rig's all sorry spinning around here so much the rig's all set up to go so we've got our fill of fish and uh, Kate got what total how many did you get three today five fish and I got four so she wins <laughs> so now we're gonna head out to Steamboat Springs we'll show you guys around there Well, we made the Steamboat Springs. Right here is a sulfur spring. Black sulfur springs, to be yeah. specific. Definitely smells. <laughs> Fun facts. Yeah. There's a little loop here you can go and check out. So we might do that, but I'm just here to check out the town. It's pretty busy, but uh, other than that, cool little town. Yeah. Here's Lake Springs. This one's only 64 degrees. It doesn't smell as bad either. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a little mini Yellowstone, huh? <laughs> Rusty kind of likes it. He's more worried about where his next puppuccino is going to come from. Yeah, he just had his first puppuccino and he just went ape, <laughs> ape cuss word on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, neat little town. It's very smoky here. There's a fire going on, so coming down that mountain pass was really beautiful, but you just you see all the smoke in the background. You couldn't quite see everything they like to. There's a nice little river right over here. Just kind of follows along, but just checking things out. Well, look, you can see where the spring drain is. And a random shoe and shirt. The people who want to go swimming. Steamboat Spring. Legend has it that three French trappers first noted this unusual spring in the Yampa Valley. The spouting spring, accompanied by a chugging sound, reminded them of a steamboat. Henceforth, since the early 1870s, the trappers, guides, and miners came to recognize and know this future town site as Steamboat Springs. There you have it. You can see it here, and then it drains down over here and into the river. Driving to an alpine lake. What's it called again? Summit Lake. Summit Lake makes sense. At the very top of the summit. <laughs> it's been about an hour of this type of bumpy road all the way up, but it's all part of the adventure. It's a nice <laughs> view out the side. <laughs> and I got about another 200 miles to go, but we'll get there. <laughs> Rusty is not a big fan of all the bumps. <laughs> all right, guys, we made it to Summit Campground and Summit Lake. Oh, Gonna that, see if we can find a spot. All that rough and tumbleness for a pay campground. <laughs> There's plenty of spots along the way too, though, but we'll see what we can find. But cool little summit uh, lake here. Yeah, an alpine lake.
So as you guys saw, we made it to this beautiful Alpine Lake, Summit Lake, um, but we are not staying here. We paid for our spot, we were good, we started to get some stuff out of the car, and we're just swarmed. Like, I'm talking Mosquito Central. I'm like hypersensitive to them, and normally I can handle it, it's not a big deal, but these things aren't even deterred by our DEET spray. Um, they're all over poor Rusty too. Uh, so we are just gonna do a little bit of fishing. David's over there fishing. I caught a tree. A another one? A tree, yeah. You caught a tree? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Um, so we're just gonna do a little bit of fishing here and then get out of here and probably go back closer to our other spot that we had because it wasn't, I mean, there's mosquitoes. It's, you know, it's July in Colorado, but this is, I don't think you can really see, but they're like hovering swarms, like hundreds, thousands. I don't know, it's bad. So we're just gonna do a little bit of fishing and then head on back down the mountain, so. All right, we're getting out of here. That was ridiculous. That was like, you look up and you see a cloud of just like mosquitoes. I've seen it like gnats like that, but I've never seen mosquitoes that bad. And that was unreal. I couldn't even, I fished for a little bit and I was like, I got some pictures. I'm like, this is beautiful. This is a great place. The campground's really nice, but I can't do that many mosquitoes. I don't know who can, but <laughs> unless I have a full on net, it was ridiculous. I still feel like I'm getting bit. There, there's a reason there's no one fishing and there's a couple people in campsites, but they're literally probably stuck inside their tent. Because yeah. There's no way you can hang out outside with that. They were getting him through his shirt and everything. And like I said, we've sprayed on, or I don't know what percentage, a 25% DEET. And yeah, I'm shiny from how much DEET I got on me. Yeah. It, was, it was crazy. So I was like, we're going to go head back down this mountain, which is probably going to be about an hour and a half. It's already getting late past dinner time. So we're going to go ahead and close this video out because we're basically just going to go find that camp spot, that one little scenic route or scenic spot I showed you guys that uh, before we got to the river spot. So we're probably going to go there, camp there for the night. In the morning we got to head home because Caitlin's got six shifts she's got to do. Six 12s. It's about three, she usually does three 12s and then, but they're doing back to back this time so she can do like four or five days off. So I can get them on a good schedule. Yeah, that way we can come out here and an adventure. So the videos will be sporadic, but they can come and go. Uh, I'll probably try maybe do a platform review or something maybe this while she's yeah, working. but probably a good idea. We'll be back out here. I've always wanted to go to Alpine Summit Lake, and I did. We climbed all the way to the top of this thing, and it's ten thousand, like five hundred feet. So many mosquitoes. Yeah. That was ridiculous. I. So so it's beautiful, but do not come in July. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, wait till it's like a little I, colder I don't, out or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was but... hoping it would rain so they'd go away, but I have never seen that many mosquitoes. It's so bad. we're out of here. <laughs> Anyways, keep those dreams of adventure alive. We're back. Uh, we'll have sporadic videos and stuff yeah. like that. And I'm back to be coming back to hitting Caitlin in the face again with my hand motions. Pretty much. <laughs> so. Back to the abusive husband. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, we'll uh, let you guys go. Bye. Until next time. Bye.